Hey, hello and welcome back to this video. Right, I um, just have some good news. I'm just purchasing some light stuff and uh, from now on you could see my face. If you like it, for sure. Uh okay, so I have an idea today and I'll be doing some PHP. And the main topics of this video is how to uh, transform multi-dimensional arrays like this, like three or four tables mix it together and turn them into a single array like flatten array without any uh, subtraction or the tables to implement this uh, let's go ahead on this computer and see how we could do this together great nice way <laughs> great well right uh, let me just start by launching that PHP server PHP yeah and Make sure that it's up and running. Yep. And right here, I'll start by defining my table. So let's say array equal to a mix of arrays. And let's go for 10. And start by putting a, ta oops, a table right here. Uh, up, 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 whatever. And another table or another variable. And put another table. And that's good enough. Okay, so the problem I'm facing here that JavaScript doesn't interfere with PHP. So from time to time, I do console log and see the FICO, uh, you know, the kind of things just get mixed together. But uh, I'm just doing my things to figure out. Okay, so the next thing is to think about the logic that you, we are going to implement right here. Uh, so the idea that I'll be using recursivity. So when the input, when the key, the current key, for example, the 10 is not a terrible, is not a terrible, is not an array, then we simply push it to an X table that will be defined later. If it's a table, then we need to uh, recall back the method that we'll be creating and iterate through the table and push its values into inside the X uh, results table that we'll be defining. Okay, so a lot of talk, but uh, it's hopefully you could understand me. So I'll start by defining a function. Let's call this uh, get uh, get get things together. Okay, you can call whatever you want to gather together, and it will take an array of type array. Okay, the body of this method. So first of all, we need to make sure that we have a valid array. We cannot accept like uh, any random things to uh, waste time on treat and that and etc. So I do if is or if is not an array. So is array yeah, then uh, then dollar array yes. So I just return false. Simple as that. Okay now we could proceed well things. So starting by a for each loop for each and I'll do for each um, dollar array as key value or we simply go to value but it doesn't really matter for here so if this value uh, if this one is an array the first condition if is an array then value for sure then we'll do some stuff right here elsewhere we will do another stuff okay so other stuff is saving that current index as a proper value that's not an array so right here, I would like to define a new parameter or variable called results, for example, that equal to an empty array for now. Nice. So right here, as I said, if it's not an array, then I will do a dollar result and just push inside it the dollar value. Nice. Okay. And right here, so this is like the tweaked stuff and a bit complex it. Not really complex, it's ridiculous and easy. I'm just doing things for YouTube. Uh, okay, so I'll do dollar result equal to dollar result itself. We would like to keep the track of the previous version of this. So I will do um, dollar result. Wait a second. Should I do that directly or should I just do things the other way? So we need to track, as I said. We need to keep track of the result, then mix it or merge it with a newly uh, injected array, for example, this one. 
So we need to put them together, to merge them actually, and recall back this uh, this gathering uh, to help or whatever I call it. So right here I will do array, array merge, and as the name explained, it will merge two array, two or more arrays actually. So the first array to merge is the dollar result, and I'll be merging it by the result of this method, the recursion of this method. So right here I will call it again and I'll pass the value to it. The value is, as I said, uh, is like a result of this for each loop and for example it will be this one or this one or any other table that will be found inside our main table. So everything should be fine now and don't forget to return dollar result and finally time for truth let's call this method and see if it does respond correctly so I will call it using that array and let's refresh this what's wrong I, I just have to put a printer or something that display that table what about doing any code okay I would like to do echo so normally you should put return as I did but since we I would like to display things quickly I would do echo echo pre and right here I will do vordam dot result array that hopefully can contain the flatnet version of our table so what we have here so for instance I'm having arrays of four what's wrong I did not understand what happened in the results So we have, let me move these things away, we have all the tables except other one. Ah oh, yeah, so, sorry, right here, I would like to use the keys on Steve. So now if I do a refresh, nothing really happened, what the heck, what the heck happened right there? Uh, do I miss something? Results, we have a 10 result not really sure what went wrong with this let me just return ah yeah uh, result okay I'd like to for dump this instead for example printer okay this should be fine now okay let me track my numbers so we have 10 this 5 uh, we have 16 we have five of this one and we don't have the six eight okay so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and right here how much record we have one two three four five six seven eight nine so something is missing uh, something is missing I'd like to keep it simple that I could attract things if I do a refresh, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, so we have 10, 5, 5, 6, 8, 4, 7, 6, 8, 4, 7, yet again, and 6, 8, what about 19, uh, we have, something is wrong with this, I'd like to change this to simple, ah, okay, there you go, so the problem was because problem was because because when we define the result using the key and the key does exist for example when we do define uh, it's like two or something it will override the existing value that's why we don't need to specify uh, the key that will be injecting content on, on it okay so our table is flattened uh, if it's correct to say and everything seems to be fun let me just add a new table using uh, let's go 66 and 1 for example or 14 if I do a refresh let me just reduce this a bit so you have all the numbers what about 1 2 this is easy to track 3 4 and 
5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 19, 66, and 14. Great and very nice. Okay, guys, that was um, this algorithm, this simple PHP algorithm. Hopefully, this could be useful to somebody out there, especially if you are passing in a new review. You could get something like this on the questions. Um, thank you for watching. I would like you really to thumb up this video if you like it. Share it with your uh, people if you like it too and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, please please use that comment box below because it does really motivate me when I see people just chatting and uh, sending me feedback about my videos um, that's it for this video have a nice day